And we have a number of cat mummies in the collection and this was a, a nice one. And basically what we're doing is um, looking at some items in the university collection um, to make more use of them for teaching. Um, so using photogrammetry and other techniques we're, we're able to create virtual versions of objects which otherwise just you can't handle for, you know, other than a specialist coming in and looking at them. We're really looking at things that would be relevant to students of medicine and maybe archaeology as well. Um, but also thinking some of the objects in the museum that are rather intriguing and attractive that would get people's attention. You are able to get that ability to look very closely. So it's not just a representation of the object, it's being able to look at the detail and really understand it. That's been really important. The question, of course, always is, what's inside it? Is it actually a cat mummy or not? There are cases where um, what's inside it is not what you'd expect. We did actually have a crocodile mummy, and all that was in it was the crocodile's head. There was no body. So was, we wanted to know. So we were able to um, create this representation of it so we've got a real sense of the outside. And then also we cat scanned it. I know it's a bad pun, but never mind. Um, and we discovered inside that it, the real cat is a tiny wee kitten, much, much smaller than the bandages. So presumably what went on was that actually at a temple they were selling cat, mummified cats for people to give as a gift to the temple. And you'd make more money out of selling a large cat than a little one, so they've bulked it out. So I think it does give a bit of an insight into what was going on in a temple of you know, daily life and how they were making offerings to the gods in, in Egypt. Photogrammetry is a technique for building 3D models uh, from photographs. So basically it consists in taking a lot of photographs around an object and then using a clever piece of software to stitch them all together and build a 3D model. And the result is uh, very good. The textures are very realistic. So anyone can uh, rotate the model, zoom into the object, um, and explore the texture and the shape of, of the 3D model at any device. On the one hand, we're thinking of the students in University of Aberdeen and their chance to really make use of the collections. I mean, it's a wonderful privilege being a student in Aberdeen when you've got the collection and we need to make more use of it. Um, the other thing, of course, is we're able to web mount them, so they're going to be available to anybody who wants to see these things. Um, and there are a number of international projects looking at things like cat mummies who are contributing to international scholarship as well as our own teaching.